is it rude to fall asleep during a massage? No, I, I really love people to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> that means, um, you know, they're relaxed, they really enjoy it. So first question I have for you is how did you become such an amazing massage therapist? Oh my God, it's a long story. <laughs> well, I started, um, I went to school because I wanted to give my fiance a massage, believe it or not. Okay. That's that's the least I do right now. Okay. <laughs> I have no time. Okay. Um, and then I enjoy it. I really um, like what I do with people, how the people feel, and I just, you know, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. This is what I know. This is what I like doing. Mm -hmm. So it's something that you do because you know it's gonna be something that others <clears throat> enjoy. And you're bringing like positivity and happiness and comfort you know a lot of people think it's a luxury but it's not you know um, it's good for relaxation it's a good stress relief um, and it's it's a good lifestyle for you to put you know into your life mm -hmm. I would I would know right you, you would know. know you you come in all the time <laughs> even though you're slack it's been it's been a while <laughs> I was gonna say I gotta, I gotta get back on your calendar um, so you're an entrepreneur what would you say is your favorite thing about being an entrepreneur I put my own hours, <laughs> okay. so right. I make my own schedule. I put my own hours. You know, I'm. Even though you say, "Oh my God, you you um, you want to be entrepreneur because you're gonna work less." No, I work more, mm -hmm. but I put my own hours. If I don't want to work on Sundays, I don't work on Sundays. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to work on Saturdays, I don't work on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. I just work Monday through Friday and put a lot of hours and get to enjoy the weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, you can play around with your schedule. Mm -hmm. 100%. You definitely work more in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, I was working Monday through Sunday mm -hmm. when I started um, because you want to build your clientele. You want to be to that level that you cannot say no. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you have to always be available. Mm -hmm. And now I'm into the point that if I don't want to work, no, come in tomorrow. This is my schedule. You know, I, I try to I try to have a line, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, if I say I'm gonna leave at five o'clock, I want to leave at five o'clock because I have a family too. You know, I, I am a mom, I am a wife, so I have to kind of balance. So I find that um, if you don't have a balance, then you're not gonna work mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Totally. Um, how about the other end of the spectrum? So what would you say is the most or one of the more challenging aspects of being an entrepreneur? Dealing with employees. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to say it like that, but you know, I have a good team, but it's hard um, to put everyone on your same pace. Mm -hmm. um, thank God I have a good team right now, but with the past experience, um, not everyone wants the same thing you want. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people are very laid back. They're, you know, they just want to get the money. They just want to get paid, mm -hmm. but they don't want to put on the work, mm -hmm. you know. They, and it's a big difference, you know, between you wanted to grow and and um, and then just you know stay where you're at you know you want to make money but then you don't want to work for it so um, with that I'm like not everyone is the same like you mm -hmm. so identifying the right people to bring on board that maybe are not exactly like you but have the same or similar morals and drive and goals you goals. know I want to grow I, I, I want to do things yeah. I want to expand um, so just that, you know, a lot of people right now, they don't want to do that. They don't want to work. They don't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about anyone specific? Just no, it. no. <laughs> okay. okay. Very cool. Okay. So, I, yeah, I've noticed that you've been focused a lot on, like, on education. You know, lately, some of the conversations we've been having, I, bringing people on and teaching them how to do certain things. So, I guess first question is, like, how is that going? And is that something that you also enjoy like sharing the knowledge that you've learned over the years I do um, it's going well um, actually right now I'm doing more one-on-one -on -one. Mm. I'm a little shy camera shy especially I'm right. working on that <laughs> no okay. I'm working on that uh -huh. um, because when I see the camera I kind of like lose my words mm. and I'm like okay then I need to stop I need to you know but when I'm one-on-one -on, -one on camera I talk so much mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, just that and um, working on myself with that but with teaching this is my plan for when I retire that's what I want to do so I figure I need to start now um, because my hands are not gonna always work right. so I figure this is my this is my um, my goal for when I retire this is what I can do right. you know that's my second step that I can do 
Right. Gotcha. To grow my career and have an income without having to work hands on. Mm -hmm. I think that is one of the more important elements of a business. Someone told me the other day, like, until you take yourself out of your business and it can still function, what you actually have, it was kind of a harsh way of saying it, but he said what you actually have is a hustle. Until you can take yourself out and the business is still going, yep. now it's an actual business. Mm -hmm. And you, of course, have people working for you. I'm kind of, I kind of have the same, but I'm kind of getting started with like kind of building that up and nurturing that. And it is a total different way of looking at things. We know how good we can do as an individual, but how effective are we at imparting the knowledge and inspiring and stuff like that, right? Someone told me the same thing at a meeting that I had a couple of weeks. Okay. Um, because there's, there was a lot of us that were complaining, oh, you know, my hands are tired, you know, but I'm an entrepreneur, I am my own boss, but you actually just rented a space. Mm -hmm. There's a difference, you know, sure. you rented a space to work, to sure. put on hours. So there's a big difference when, when you rent a space than when you're a boss, mm -hmm. when you're, you know, uh, where I know that I can go on vacation and my place is still gonna keep going, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's where I am right now, and I, I want to be more, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking to hire one more person and expanding to the point that I can do the classes and the, my place right now can continue. Mm -hmm. No, that makes total sense. So, like, we've had conversations, um, you mentioned about being shy. I mean, I don't see it, but... No, least... yeah. In the beginning, now I'm kind of like... Now you're good. Okay, now, you're good. Okay. now I'm good. So, so we're going to cut the beginning of the video. Right, just right out. It didn't even, didn't even happen. Um, so, so we've talked about like sort of, uh, becoming comfortable and being able to, um, provide like yourself on social media, like putting yourself out there, so to speak. And now that I see you doing that, I love when I have conversations with people and then some period of time passes and then I see them start doing it. I'm like, wow, I'd love to see that. So I'm seeing that very, very, uh, frequently with you now and I'm like loving it so I wanted to know like what that experience has been like are you like terrified about putting yourself out there are you seeing like the benefits of doing that for your business like how is that going no you know what I am so hungry right now mm. like I'm like I want it all I know I can I, I have more potential mm. so once I learned that I'm just like too excited all the time I'm like I want to do I want to do this I want to do that and I don't sleep <laughs> at nighttime that's all I do think about work what can I do to be better mm -hmm. so so that's what's getting me more excited all the time because I'm like, I know I have more potential to do better. So I'm constantly trying to fix things that I know I have my flaws. Mm -hmm. I'd so, love, love to see it. Yeah, I'm like, okay. So I'm, with the little reels that I've been doing, I'm kind of getting a little less shy. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I see, I'm like, all right, Ramon. I'm like, I see you over there. No, that's, it's, it's really great to see because there's so many opportunities to get better. There's so many mm -hmm. things that we can learn. Sometimes it can be overwhelming. But the moment that you kind of just do and just kind of say, all right, I start, I don't know when it was that you started making the reels, but say it was months ago and then you look at where you were to where you are now and you're a lot more comfortable, a mm -hmm. lot more, um, you know, able to, to make them look and sound a, a certain way and everything like that. So I yeah, definitely I feel more comfortable now. Um, you know, I still feel a little shy, but that's in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, okay, what, what, what are they going to do? Mm -hmm. It's fine. <laughs> Here for a reason. This is what yeah. people want. So let's let's mm -hmm. go. Right? Very cool. Um, so, last question is: Is it rude to fall asleep during a massage? No, I, I really love people to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> that means um, you know they're relaxed. They really enjoy it. Okay. You know, I have people that are like, wake me up. I don't want to go to sleep. I'm like, no, I am not waking you up. Right. And then, you know, I take it a little e easier. Yes, yes. Now, nobody's going to want to go to sleep right. on my table. Right. You're just like, you're not even massaging. I'm like, like I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> you're just over there doing something else. No, not like that. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. First of all, happy National Hispanic Heritage Month. Oh, Hi, no, I didn't even know. <laughs> Neither did I. My wife told me this morning. She said, start the conversation that way. So, so. We're not recording now, right? Oh, okay. we're recording. Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, this is all, but you know, we'll, we'll see what, what we use. But yes, I wanted to definitely share that with you. And how are you doing today? To I'm with? good. How are you? Thank you for inviting me. Of course. I had to have you here. This is something we talked about a few weeks ago, maybe? Yes. A couple weeks. A couple and, of weeks. Um, you're a fellow entrepreneur, so I figured it would be a all you'd be an awesome guest to have. So thank you so much for, for coming through. Thank you for having me.